Hey guys, it's Wanda from Deep South Homestead. We're in the kitchen today and it is Croctober extravaganza. Today is my day to show you what I do with crock pots. So I'm a part of a collaboration that was started by Amanda at the Beals, which used to be the fundamental home, and um, Lisa at Sutton Days. Both of them have great channels that show cooking, canning, um, grocery hauls, pantry, um, tips and all this kind of junk. They have all kinds of uh, videos on that kind of stuff. Um, but the Croctober extravaganza has been going on all month, all through October. Mine is today the 21st. Um, I never told anybody exactly what I was making because until I start making it, I don't know what I'm making. That's just Wanda. I get in the kitchen, I start, I just start cooking. Um, so we call mine the Deep South Surprise. The surprise is I've got one crock pot going here with something in it, another crock pot going with something in it. I'm going to show you what I've done over the last couple of weeks with a couple of other items that I had in crock pots and how they turned out. And so about four recipes in one video, just saying. So it's my crock pot extravaganza. <laughs> um, so if you want to join and learn a lot of new recipes, taking run over to Facebook to crock pot extravaganza. There's a link in the description below. Each week we've been giving away something and this week is no different. At the end of the week you will get, if you go there and join the link that says uh, giveaway, it takes you through, asks you a few questions and you're entered automatically into a giveaway. Last two weeks we've given away crock pots. It's been awesome. So today we're going to start out with one of my recipes here, which it, I'm using, this one is a three quart, this one's a two quart. I've been using the two quart for a couple of uh, different items that I've already done. The big crock pot has a roast that we um, had processed here by friends, and it's got a special oomph to it as Deep South usually does. It's going to have a couple of special oomphs. Then um, the second crock pot, hmm, green bean casserole. The other two recipes that I've worked on this past week that I uh, did a, I didn't do videos, I showed them over on Facebook and Instagram. One of them was Mexican cornbread in a crock pot and the other was a sweet potato, it was almost like a sweet potato dessert like you would eat uh, casserole. That's what I'm looking for, sweet potato casserole in a crock pot. The other two recipes will fit right in with our roast and our green bean casserole. So if you're looking for something to do for Thanksgiving, you don't want all the cooking, these is what, this is what you need. You're going to have your roast or whatever meat you want, you can throw in the crock pot. You can throw a turkey in there. Hey, go for it. Um, get you a nice turkey breast and throw instead of the roast. But today we're doing roast. I've got my green bean casserole. I'm going to show you how to do the sweet potato casserole in the crock pot and how to do Mexican cornbread in a crock pot. These things are awesome. It's amazing and you will love it. So guys, run over to Facebook, check out the extravaganza and all the people over there that are uh, giving you recipes and things like that. You will enjoy it. You'll get to know people. you get to learn how to make new crock pot recipes. It is awesome. So let's get cooking. Okay, so I put up some of our homemade lard that we did, 8, 17 of 19, just so I can heat this pan up. I just want it uh, where it doesn't stick to the bottom because we're not frying it. I'm just searing the roast. And this is a roast from uh, the beef that we bought from a friend of ours that owns a animal processing plant. She raises these and we know what went into them. And I always dry mine because if you don't dry it and you throw it in that pan, it's going to go crazy. And it's going to go crazy anyways, but drying it off helps. So. Make sure you get all this. And 
in my handy dandy meat fork. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. We're going to try and do it on the end and on the side. We have our top pot ready. And so we have our seared roast and we're putting it in the pot down in the bottom. And I have the pot on. And in the bottom I have something special. I put the roast in in the bottom. I put some of this. You see how clear? That is our scuppernong juice. I took out a, a little bit of it and we're just gonna pour it in here. I already had some in the bottom so that it wouldn't get too hot. We're gonna add deep south onions. These are frozen. So we're just gonna add some chopped onions over in there. So the scuppernong is going to give it a sweet taste and that's what we want, a nice well-rounded sweet roast. We're going to use a bunch of our deep south peppers that have been chopped and frozen. We're still getting these out of the greenhouse. I could have just chopped up some fresh, but this is a day that we're in a hurry. And salt and pepper. So this is going to give it a strange taste, but guys, Deep South is all about strange. We have it on high, so we're going to leave it for a while. We have crock pot number two over here. In an hour or so, we're going to add a second something to crock pot number two. And then we're going to add more to crock pot number one. All right, for crock pot number two, we have approximately three tablespoons of butter that is getting really pretty hot. We're going to add some Goya rice flour. Now I'm going to add two spoons right now and see if that's enough. We're going to take this little Pampered Chef thing here and put it, stir it around. All right, we want this to brown a little bit. We're making like a uh, roux or in my cookbook it's called a cream of soup we want this I'm gonna add a little bit more flour about a teaspoon maybe of flour because we want it to be we want it to thicken is what we're doing we're gonna make a, a cream of and we're gonna let that start thickening up and in my cookbook from garden to pantry to table in the deep south kitchen. Isn't that gorgeous? Cream of, it's in there. If you'd like one of my cookbooks, email me at deepsouthhomestead at gmail.com. I've got an order going in and it will take close to four to six weeks for it to come back. Sometimes they get them back in two to three. So email me. All we do is get that going. So I added butter and rice flour. To that, while that is melting, I'm going to add a glob of cream cheese, about one tablespoon. And this, I took some of our smoky cheese. I'm going to break it up and let it start melting in there. Now, if I was doing cream of, this would probably go in last, but I'm wanting this to melt on down. Start getting hot. The milk. While all of it's doing together, this is Almond Breeze Almond Milk. About a cup full. And let all this just mesh and the cheese and the cream cheese all melt into it. And if we need more, we will, but I want it thick. 
and this is going to make a cream of cheese type mixture while all that melts together and this little thing just keeps it from lumping up and I have it on a medium fire right now and if it looks like it's getting too thick add a little more almond milk and it's starting to thicken up pretty good let me show you see it's still looking but it's thickening it's not milky in any way shape or form and you see how fast it's starting to thicken look at this nice cream of soup Now we're going to take this off the fire because we do not want it to get any worse we want it just like that that looks good it's smoky cream of soup one this way now you can add your salt and pepper to this or you can wait and add it later what we're going to do now is get ready for crock pot number two. Now this comes in handy anytime you like this stuff, but it also comes in handy at Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Easter because most everybody likes a green bean casserole. I'm putting in the second crock pot, which is a two-quart crock pot. Thank you, Buddy and Libby from Gemini Homestead. The two-quart is just like the other one that I had that had broken knobs. These are rattlesnake beans from 2018. So what I'm doing is adding them in my thing. Now you can buy green beans, frozen green beans, pick them fresh, whatever it takes. You can do any kind of green beans you want, but mine are already done. So I've got them. I'm gonna add Let's add a little bit of salt. A little pepper. Onions that I grew here at Deep South. We um, dehydrated them. So I'm going to add eh, probably a good handful of them because we like onions. We're going to add our smoky cream of cheese into this and y'all it smells like it we're out at a smokehouse i'm gonna tell you what this smells great now like i said this has already got our smoked cheese in it our onions now, if you have French fried onions that you bought in the store, that's fine. I'm just using some of deep sauce onions. If you have fresh onions, throw them in here. Doesn't matter. Whichever way you've got it, it'll work anyway, anyhow. I found that that is perfect. Okay, we're going to add a handful of shredded cheddar in with this. Mix it real well. This is going in crock pot number two. Now, add all this goodness. And if you want to double, triple, quadruple, it's according to how big your crock pot is, we're, it's just two of us. So this works, this works for two of us. That's what it looks like. I'm going to put some more onions and cheese on top. I think I will spread just a few across the top and a little more shredded cheese if you make your own cheese that's awesome but that's what it's looking like we're going to get it in the uh, bottom of the crock pot and this is crock pot number two all right the little mini crock pot's been going about two two and a half hours and as you can see, it's looking like a green bean casserole. Isn't that awesome? So what I'm going to do is put it on low 
so it doesn't overcook and we're just gonna set it to the side I'll come back probably in about an hour hour and a half and I might switch it down to warm so that it's not really doing anything but keeping it hot all right that was crock pot number two this is crock pot number one now this one is on high it is bubbling like crazy and it's been about I think a little over two hours now our roast you can see it's cooking really well and it smells wonderful it has that sweet smell plus we have peppers in there I don't know it just smells good now we're going to add sweet potatoes I went ahead and peeled them because I didn't want any dirt in my food and so I'm going to add a pink one and a white one and that's a white sweet potatoes I'm going to put them in I've got two more pink and white I'm going to peel them and add them to this so we not only do we have the scuppernon juice in here we're going to have a little bit of sweet potato on top of this and we're going to let this cook I'm going to get the other two in there let it cook on high another couple of hours and we'll probably come through if I'm in the house I'll rotate the potatoes some but it's not necessary really but you could rotate them if you needed to if you haven't already figured out we're kind of doing Thanksgiving in a crock pot so we don't have to sit and watch everything um, like I told you I'm doing roast but if you didn't uh, if you were doing Thanksgiving I'd do a turkey and you could add the sweet potatoes to it because people love baked sweet potatoes but cranberry sauce instead of doing cranberry sauce uh, if you had cranberries do your turkey put the cranberries over in there some cranberry juice and just cook the turkey in your cranberry juice and add your sweet potatoes oh my goodness you're talking about a good Thanksgiving sounds good to me um, the other thing I did I had the Mexican cornbread all right so if you know anything about deep south you know Wanda doesn't use a lot of recipes yes I have a recipe book and if you follow it it might come out every time I don't know mine never I'm, I just do everything from memory so whatever looks good goes in the pot just saying but for the Mexican cornbread if you have a cornbread recipe that you like or a Mexican cornbread recipe that you like dump it in there but for simple purposes the small crock pot I did one cup of cornmeal uh, about mm, a quarter of a cup of flour maybe and I use rice flour um, probably will use corn flour the next time because I forgot I had corn flour and I just didn't use it I used the rice flour because I knew Danny could use eat it um, so a cup of cornmeal a quarter of a cup of flour I added about a spoonful of uh, sugar to it one egg and almond milk I mixed that up and got it really just like I would if I was going to make a pound of cornbread I added shredded sharp cheddar cheese I added jalapenos because we still have jalapenos on the vines I went and picked my jalapenos chopped them up threw them in there um, corn we have corn that I had um, put corn on the cob in our freezer and I had cooked about eight or ten of them and Danny and I eat one every meal I had three or four left so I took two of them cut the corn off the cob threw that in there you can use whatever you want you can use a jiffy mix if you want that cornbread I don't care uh, corn in a little can you don't have to do what I did I'm just saying I do the deep south way that's the whole purpose in living off the land is having what you need on hand and doing it your way but you can go to the grocery store and buy all the ingredients and make it the same it, it's up to you um, let's see was that it yes that was it I mixed it all together dumped it over in there cooked it about an hour and a half or so then I put some more shredded cheese on top and went another hour hour and a half and from that I just turned it down on warm left it on warm for a while and before Danny and I wanted it he didn't want it soggy because he said there's moisture in there so I dumped it out on a um, wire rack a cooling rack like you would a baking rack and let the air dry the bottom of it out and it was perfect it was awesome and oh uh, cream cheese I added um, oh let's see 
four or five dollops, maybe spoonfuls of cream cheese over in it. That was the other thing that I added to it. All right, so that is really a good, easy recipe, and it cooks really easy. So when I was canning sweet potatoes, I had a big batch. I put all of them in my jars, and I had a bunch left over. So I put them in the sweet water that I used, my light syrup, and I cooked them. And then I took out a couple of cups and made Danny's sweet potato dessert, and I still had a cup and a half of sweet potatoes left that were done, and I just put them in a container, stuck them in the fridge. Well, I wanted a sweet potato casserole. I took those sweet potatoes out that were done, dumped them in the mini crock that I got the two quart. Uh, on top of that, I put brown sugar, some butter, I added some shredded coconut, and then I laid pecans in on top of it. And I turned that crock pot on, and I walked away for a while, and I uh, probably two hours later, I came back. Y'all, it toasted the coconut, it toasted the pecans. They were perfect, the taste was fantastic. Here you can have all of your stuff for Thanksgiving in crock pots. If you got three to four crock pots, or you can do some the day before, like you can do the Mexican cornbread the day before. Oh, and the Mexican cornbread, guess what you could do? Do it the day before. If you don't want it for just eating, make it into dressing. Turn around the next day, crumble it all up, add your onions and your cream ofs and your broth and your eggs and all that stuff that you like in a uh, chicken and dressing. You could throw in uh, ch chicken or turkey, whichever you have, doesn't matter. Throw it in, dump it back in the crock pot, let it cook till you get ready to eat and you've got dressing from your Mexican cornbread if you didn't want to eat it. Just some tips. So, guys, we're going to check this out in a little while. All right, crock pot number two. Doesn't that look awesome? That is the green bean casserole. And you could put two quarts in there as far as two quarts of beans and stuff. I just put one because it's just me and Danny. This is the three quart. This is crock pot number one. Our potatoes are about done. I checked the roast. The roast is done. Guys, we're ready to eat. So I hope you guys enjoyed the crock pot extravaganza meal that I made. My Deep South Surprise, which is a Thanksgiving meal in a crock pot, in several crock pots. And so that you can enjoy the Thanksgiving this year and not have to do all this cooking. It makes it life simple and easy. And guys, you can sit down and enjoy your family on Thanksgiving and still serve a beautiful, gorgeous meal. I'm going to fix Danny a plate. We're going to let him try this stuff and see what he thinks. Thank you guys from Deep South Homestead. We want to thank um, Amanda from The Bills and Lisa from Sutton Days for inviting us in this collaboration. Go check out all the videos in the playlist in the description below and we'll talk to you guys later thank you from deep south homestead all right so all right so i'm supposed to eat this i want to know what you think all right i just come out from mixing dirt and this one that told me it's time to eat so right before the live stream so we're eating uh looks like green beans green bean casserole in a crock pot Mmm. Okay. Texture. Taste. This tastes smoky. Oh, yes, I put smoky cheese in it. Oh, man. I forgot that. Well, that makes all the difference there. Wow. Wow. So you think that'll work for the, the green beans and that, yeah, that's a that's a winner right there. Whatever you did, that's a winner. And it was in a crock pot. Okay, now this sweet potato was in a crock pot too? With the meat. With the uh with the meat there, okay. Wow. Damn. It's still so hot. Meat and potato. I gotta get that smoky taste out of my mouth. Well, I'm not gonna touch the smoky. You know what? Let me do this here. I'm not gonna do the smoky for the meat is falling apart tender. I think it was five hours in the crock pot. Mm. The sweet potatoes go. I mean, I don't know what you've done, but uh, it's got a tint, it's got a hint of sweetness to it. So 
Well, it's a sweet potato, but still. <laughs> well, it's a white sweet potato. They're not sweet. What do you think with the meat? Mm, boy, it's tender. It's falling apart tender. I mean, y'all. This is beef. This is beef, and it's just falling yeah. apart. If you wanted to make, like, pulled pork with beef. Wow. You know, where it's falling apart, it's beef. Shredded beef, I guess people call it. It's got a good taste to it, though. You've done something a little different. I added our scuppernon juice and cooked oh. it in scuppernon juice. I knew they had to be something because it has a little bit of a sweeter taste to it. It's awesome, isn't it? It is good. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of smoked cheese here. Let's see how the smoky tastes with the meat. That sweet potato with that cane syrup on it. Mm. Not right there. That is a winning combination. The smoke. The smoked cheese with that beef like that. Uh. Oh. That's Man. delicious. Oh my gosh. The green beans will never be the same again, will No. It? Never be the same. We're never gonna do a green bean casserole that we don't have smoked and cheese in it. <laughs> oh my word. So you think if I did instead of the beef, if I did turkey in the crock pot with our scuppernon juice over it or either I did cranberry juice and cranberries in it done the green bean casserole and another one the sweet potatoes and then for dessert maybe um, I could do the sweet potatoes with um, the coconut and pecans that I did the other day okay so I forgot oh, my cornbread Mexican cornbread Mexican cornbread was done in the crock pot Okay, but now we're back to the turkey thing. Okay. Turkey's a little different from beef. Mm -hmm. You got dark meat and white meat. White meat's very dry. But I was going to do like a turkey breast. That's going to be okay. Yes, if, if you do it in a crock pot, you have to submerge it in liquid. Exactly. Because if you don't, it will be too dry. Exactly. Uh, now beef, on the other hand, doesn't dry out like that. Yeah. But so man, if I did it, it for, for Thanksgiving, so this was my whole idea. I did a, a Thanksgiving meal in a crock pot, mm -hmm. several crock pots. Did the uh, green bean casserole. Instead of the beef, I do turkey, and I could use it in the scuppernon. That's so good. And just pour that juice over it and let it cook. Then add our sweet potatoes, or either do the sweet potato dessert I gave you the other day with the coconut and the pecans, like a sweet potato casserole. I'm thinking. If you're going to do the turkey, do the sweet potato casserole. Because it's a, a fowl, mm -hmm. I would do the cranberry. Okay. Uh, instead of the scuppernon, I think I would use the cranberry. So we gotta oh, cook it well with the turkey. Mm -hmm. Just cook it cook it in it. Now, yeah, I don't think it might not hurt to mix the scuppernon juice in there just to keep it from being dry. But I would, I would definitely braise it or baste it with the, uh, with the cranberry sauce. Good homemade cranberry sauce, not this store-bought jelly-looking junk, but the homemade. Yeah, our homemade cranberry our sauce. Our homemade stuff. It's got that's real, not fake. Uh, I'm telling you, the yeah. beans are good. I mean, I'm telling you, I keep putting my meat in there with that smoked cheese. That's good. You can't beat that. All right, guys. Mm. Deep south. Uh, our Thanksgiving. Sure like part of heaven or something. I mean, it's... deep south is part of heaven. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder. The food is so good. Yeah, I'm telling you. Oh my gosh. I didn't have to sit and work on this meal. You saw it. A few minutes, throw it together. Mm -hmm. It's in a crock pot. Just come by and check it on occasion. That's a simple And it's all done. It's all falling apart tender. Your family's going to love you because you're going to get to spend time with them on Thanksgiving. Mm. And you're going to provide an awesome meal. So. Thank you guys from Deep South Homestead and the Crock-Pot Extravaganza. I ain't got nothing bad to say about this, that's for sure. Mm. I usually can critique anything, but I can't critique this. This is like eating in heaven or something. I mean, I don't know. I mean, home-raised, all of it. Yes. I mean, it's, it's just... It's our food. Mm. Thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.